Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm gonna give you a full video walk around of this wonderful 2013 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. It is an amazing car, two litre turbo, all wheel drive. It's basically a cost effective version of the Evo that everybody can enjoy because it is P-plate approved in Victoria, which is one of the key elements that makes this one of the most popular Mitsubishi models on the road. We'll start at the front, Got that beautiful wide open grille which is wrapped around with the chrome. Got your Rally Art badge in the front grille there as well, signifying the Rally Art model. Fog lights down low and really nice style bonnet with the additional air vents allowing heat to exit from the bonnet but also allowing cold air to go in through the top there as well. Moving through the front, really nothing uh, to note on the front in terms of condition, really, really clean. You'll notice how deep the tread on these tyres are. They are the same all round, lots of tread. You will note it does have the gloss grey finish alloy wheels here. These are very much the MY15 Rally Art style in that colour. Matches the tone of the titanium metallic paintwork that the car already has. Very, very clean. You'll see it's got the large side skirts, again, just giving it that nice racing feel to it. You got smart key technology, so a button on the side of the door here to lock and unlock the car. It has got privacy glass on the back, so again, really good for uh, people in the back being a little bit more private, but also if you do have things in there, people can't see through that glass at all. Rear alloy wheel, excellent condition, no marks around the outside, and, and again, another really good tire on there as well. Through the back area, no, no marks, no scratches that I can point out on there. It does have four point colour coded reverse sensors. You will see as well the Rally Art gets that nice lower rear diffuser and twin exhaust pipes. On the boot lid here, it's got a built in factory reverse camera and again another button here for your remote release. So I've got the key in my pocket so you just push that button to unlock the boot. Carpet inside, all in excellent condition. Previous owners obviously not put too many things in there. And you will note the large subwoofer on the side, which is part of the factory Rockford Fosgate sound system that the Rally Art does have as a factory option. In underneath here, space saver spare wheel and tools just maximizes the amount of space that you still have in there with this being a performance car. Large rear spoiler, probably the best one again out of the Lancer range. And then moving down the passenger side, much the same as the driver's side. Uh, rear alloy wheel there is in perfect condition. Again, great tyres all round. And body-wise, all the way through here, excellent condition. Hopefully we can get a little bit of zooming on the paintwork around here just to show the metallic flakes in it now because the sun's just come out on it. Really, really nice. So again, excellent condition, P-plate approved, and a great car all round. Looking under the bonnet now is where you find the powerhouse of the Rally Art. So it is a two litre turbo producing 177 kilowatts of power, 343 newton metres of torque. So the car is quick off the line, but it also has that good top end power to keep going if you need to overtake. It does have the six speed twin clutch auto transmission and made it to the all wheel drive system does make it quite a fast car. On average, you're looking at around 9.6 litres per 100 k's, and it's got a 55 litre fuel tank in there. So if you drive it conservatively, you could see anywhere around sort of 550 to 575 out of each tank. It is rated as a five star ANCAP safety rating with seven airbags, curtain airbags, a driver's knee airbag. So there's a lot of safety in the car, but also high performance as well. And a key thing to note here is it's got a factory strut brace from the front across to the other side. What this does, it creates a lot of stability through the steering when you've got the car under power, makes it handle better and keeps it more grounded on the road. Okay, sitting inside the Rally Art now, we'll go through the internal features and give you a rundown of everything this car has to offer inside. Starting on the driver's door, you'll see full electric windows with the power window lock, stop the kids in the back from playing with them. You've got your electric mirrors, and it does have the button here where you can push the button to fold those side mirrors in. Just protects them when you're parking at the shopping centre. You'll notice the factory tweeter up the top there as part of the Rockford Fosgate sound system. Again, very, very impressive sound system and Rockford Fosgate are known through the automotive industry as one of the leading brands for good quality sound. You've got your stability control button off to the right hand side. 
Now moving through to your steering wheel, it is a leather wrapped sports steering wheel. Uh, you do have your cruise control on the right hand side, your stereo controls here on the left, and your Bluetooth buttons down here on the left. So you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You got sports mode, paddle shifters underneath for plus and minus gears. On the right hand stalk here is where you find your auto headlights, got your fog lights on there and your indicators as well as high beam, low beam. And then on the left hand side, you've got all your wiper controls. You'll notice through the dash gauges there, very easy to read, illumination white behind the numbers there and the colour screen in the middle. Um, that will give you all the information for trip computer, uh, odometer, when your next service is due, how many kilometres you've got left in the tank, what your average fuel consumption is and average speed, and there's some more setting menus in through there as well. But that will also show you up there, we've got it in tarmac mode. So your tarmac mode is your standard all-wheel drive um, kind of driving. Down in the centre console is where you find the button to change that all-wheel drive system. So when you push this button, it'll change from tarmac to gravel, giving it a bit more of a high-performance all-wheel drive system, and then snow, which is really like a four-wheel drive lock where all four wheels are really going to be working at the same time to maximise traction on the road. Through to the middle, we've got Mitsubishi's touchscreen radio. This is all integrated with the Rockford Fosgate stereo. And then you've got touchscreen for radio, and you've got navigation. It also has Bluetooth music streaming, and when you pop the car into reverse, you'll notice the reverse camera, nice and clear color screen, and gives you a nice guide for where the car's heading to and also how close you are. But you've got a clear view right at the bottom there of the rear bumper bar, so you, with the beepers and the camera, you're pretty much at no risk of uh, getting any damage at the back. Down through the middle, got your air conditioning controls, all pretty self-explanatory, temperature, fan speed, aircon is the button, and then the direction you want the air to go. A couple of small storage compartments in there and 12 volt power as well. With the gear selector, it is a leather bound gear knob there. You've got this uh, little piece under here that you lift up to move it into gear. And then once you're down into drive, push it across and you've got your sports mode up and down. So you can change the car in the gears, six speed auto in the sport mode, or you can use the paddle shifters or just have it down here in normal drive. As I mentioned outside, it is a twin clutch system, so that will uh, allow for quick takeoff, but also smooth gear changes. And this selector here will take it from your standard drive mode up to your sport mode, and that's also displayed up in that center area of your dash gauges. On off switch here for the rear parking, if you do fit a tow bar or you're towing anything you're not going to want them on um, and if you're used to parking you might not use them so you can turn those off being a factory option. Twin cup holders through the middle there and then you've got a small centre console here. And then moving through the rest of the car, the key thing to note is that the interior of this car is very clean, no major wear and tear or scuffs in terms of the cloth interior. Piano black finish across through the dash and through the doors, set the car off really nicely. And then into the back again, really, really clean all the way through. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch our walk around video of our 2013 Rally Art Lancer. Uh, another really key thing to note here about Berwick Mitsubishi is we don't cut costs when it comes to preparing these cars to go on our lot ready for sale. As part of the Roadworthy, we've done a full quality inspection, done an intermediate service, so oil and filter, as well as topping up any other fluids that were required. And we've also just replaced front and rear rotors and pads on the car. So you've got new brakes all around the whole car. So the key thing to note there is you have nothing further to spend any money on once you take delivery of your new Lancer Rally R from Berwick Mitsubishi. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you have further questions, please call on 9907 0555. Thanks again.